Hello, hello. Welcome. Today I will be painting and drawing, but mostly painting. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna need some paper. Oh, look, there's some paper. I'm gonna be using some watercolor paper to prevent it from falling apart. Last minute, I decided to cut it a little smaller. Now I just need a pencil. Perfect. So I begin sketching out my idea. Basically, my plan is to create a eye, but with a rose instead of an iris in the middle. Kind of struggling to create that eye shape. Let's just skip till I have the drawing. I know it looks a little scary right now, but just, just trust the process. Now I'm just erasing the pencil lines so they don't show up in the final drawing. I would hate to see how ugly this drawing was originally. <laughs> now I can finally start bringing in some color. I'm going to be using these Arteza watercolor pens. I'm going to begin by bringing out the pinks and a spare piece of paper to test the colors on. After sorting through the pinks, I chose this super light color to use for the background. And I began coloring that in. Wow, look at me go. If only drawing was actually that fast. I'm also going to begin darkening up the edges so I know exactly where the petals are. And I'm going to be honest, I did not use a reference for this, so I was kind of just making it up as I go. Next, I use some water to create a lighter version of this tan peachy color. I use this around the eye to create the skin. Creates kind of a weird word now that I think about it, but I mean, I am kind of creating the illusion of skin, so it's kind of right. Now I'm just using this water brush pen that came with the Arteza markers to blend it all out. Now I'm just going back in with the original color, sharpening up some of those lines. Now I'm just blending out the color of the flower before going in with a darker color and redefining those petals. Now that that's all sorted, I'm going to be bringing in many colors of browns and orange to add more variety to the skin. As you can see, I'm taking that water brush pen again and blending this whole mess out. I'm finally moving back to the flower, adding in some of those details and shadows. Now I'm bringing in a darker pink to better outline the petals. That outline's making the petals look white. Let's blend that out a little bit. Here I'm just removing some of the extra water. Now sharpening. And blending. going in with a brown and neatening up some of those edges. Hey, you mind moving the painting up half an inch? Thanks. I decided to go back over the entire background to give it more texture and color. Ooh, and this line right here is so satisfying to draw. I'm getting deja vu from doing this all over again. Now, just like last time, I'm gonna blend this whole mess out. Finally, coloring in the whites of the eyes with this bluish-gray color. 
I had some trouble blending this out. The brown kept wanting to seep into the whites of the eyes. It's not exactly what I want. The brown started seeping into the rose as well. I tried to go back over it to fix it, but I'll just have to fix that later. Now I'm just bringing in some colorful fine liners to help define those edges. I'm starting with this neon pink going around each petal. Now I'm going to switch to a brown and outline the eyelid and the waterline. I'm doing just like a rough outline. It's not perfect and the lines are very sketchy. Now I'm just going to blend those lines in so they don't look completely out of place. Switching back to my fine liner, I'm going to start outlining the eyelid and creating some eyelashes. I know they look a little whack right now, but don't worry, we'll go back and fix that later. For now, we're just going to have to deal with these. You can barely see what I'm doing because my hand's in the way. It's truly unfortunate you can't see me struggle to draw eyelashes. Switching back to the watercolor markers. Ooh, look, there's that line again. It's so freaking satisfying to draw. And now finally fixing those eyelashes so they look less bare. Whoa, you drew that one a little long there. Now I'm just gonna switch to this black Sharpie gel pen. I'm going to use this to create some rough sketchy lines around the eye, eyelashes, and the rose. Again, my hand's kind of in the way and you can't really see what I'm doing, but trust me, I am doing something. I was kind of worried about the black being a little bit too harsh over that pink, but I don't know, I think it works. Switching back to that fine liner, adding in some sketchy pink lines. And switching back to the watercolor marker in hopes of sharpening up some of those edges. So originally when I made this plan, I was just going to leave it like this. But I decided it was missing something. And I can't really go over watercolor with watercolor, so I'm bringing in my acrylics. They're a little dry, so I'm adding some water to them, and I'm gonna create some vines around the eye. I gotta grab some water first, though. Perfect. Let me just maneuver my paint around and begin painting out of frame. Oh my god, I finally realized I was out of frame. Thank god. I started using this really light green and it just looks it just looks blue over the orange. So I finally switched to a darker green that actually looks like green. Ooh, this is my favorite part, painting all the little leaves. And I'm still struggling to stay in frame. <laughs> this part, this part right here is my favorite in the whole video. It's just so satisfying to watch. Finally, switching to the other side. Thankfully, I actually got this one in frame. Now adding all the leaves on the other side. This one's not as cool to watch, but it's still pretty cool. Now I'm just going in adding some shadows. It's kind of hard to see right now because the paint's still wet, but I promise you, it will get darker. I decided to go in with a green fine liner, like I did with the rose, just so they were all matching. I'm just drawing a very loose and messy outline around each leaf. My marker was kind of having some trouble drawing over the acrylic, so I brought in my spare paper to get the ink flowing again.
I'm bringing back my black gel pen, going around doing basically the same thing that I just did, but with a different color, so it's different. I was having the same issue with my black pen, so the paper has made a return. I decided to add some little black squiggles around the perimeter to make sure it's all cohesive and matchy. I placed them completely arbitrarily and there is no rhyme or reason for any of it except um, that I thought it would look good there. <laughs> Finally, the last little touch is adding my signature and the year. Here it is, I'm finally done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, it does kind of look like a potato with an eye, but I don't know, I still really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!